Hey everybody, it's Keith Couch with Rocky Mountain Peterbilt, Rush Truck Center in Greeley, Colorado. Before I forget, since I'm so bad at this social media stuff, um, we just passed 10,000 uh, subscribers. Thank you very much for all of you who have subscribed. I'm very humbled by that. I didn't think there'd be 10 people out there that even watch this, but uh, I do appreciate it. So if you haven't liked and you haven't subscribed, please do so. Uh, I appreciate it. And then you get notifications whenever I send out a new one of these. Doesn't mean you have to watch them, but uh, I'd appreciate it if you would, and it is very humbling. Thank you very much. So today we got some plum crazy metallic and diamond white, uh, a pair of twins here, sister trucks, consecutive VIN numbers. Uh, 2021 models, 389 extended hood flat top, 72 inch flat tops. Um, we did a lot, of, or the customer I should say, did a lot to these once they got here. Um, and in case you want the, the plum crazy metallic, if you would like the uh, paint code for that, it's 838-399-EY. And that's an Exalta paint code, 838-399-EY. It's absolutely stunning, paired with the diamond white. Um, just beautiful, gorgeous truck. And then what we did is we took the, the badging off, cleaned it all out, had them sprayed, and then re-sanded down and polished. So the badging matches the dark color nice touch that's about it cost us about a hundred dollars to do that per badge so uh they wanted the old school headlights so we went with those don't have a turn signal in them uh, and then we went with the j-hook uh, mounting brackets some of these i've seen the, the turn signals here but on these it's not to keep it a little cleaner so what we had to do is run some wires put the turn signal up here if you notice, all these lights are LEDs, and I'll get to that here in a minute. I'll try and get you some good pictures of it. There you can see the emblem in purple. An old school look. Really, really good looking trucks. 14 inch drop visor. Added the extra lights on the top. Just beautiful. 280 wheelbase. Uh, got the jump post down there in the front get to those all polished stainless steel did a master disconnect these are two of the most loaded trucks I've ever done medium def tank 100 gallon polished tank on this side toolbox step and then you did the polished full fenders from Hodgebilt Michelin 275 ADR 24.5 wheels and tires 24 5 wheels, Peterbilt. Disc brakes all the way around. There's the disc brakes. Aluminum fifth wheel, Holland aluminum fifth wheel. Saves a little bit of weight. Good LED lights in the rear. There. Come around to the other side of this one. They are twins. They're identically spec. And what we did here is uh, all LEDs on the back. CB antenna is what we call BOS or back of sleeper. And that's a logger mount radio antenna. So they put it at the back of the sleeper also. So it keeps everything off the off the, the mirror brackets. You see, it keeps them a much cleaner look, especially when you don't put air horns on the top. Got a 150 over here. Good job polishing on the after treatment here. And we went with the big 605. Oh, come on. The big 605 2050 torque engine here. Whoop. Side of the motor here. 
Air ride steer axle, of course, fully loaded truck. Disc brakes up here. If you haven't driven an air ride steer axle, you'll throw rocks at everything else. Once you have that, it's wonderful. And it's not all squishy. Very nice ride, very firm. Cummins X15, it's a 15 liter. It's a Davco 382. Uh, fuel filter. We did the remote lube on this one. The remote lube is for your clutch linkage, um, release bearing, cross shaft, all that good stuff. So that's the underside. We'll take you inside real quick. See how she looks. Go over to this one because I know it's open. Platinum interior, all gray, black leather seats. And we did a sit solo, all polished. Moves the seats back a bit, especially if you have longer legs. It's a big deal. And uh, that's your normal gauges right in front of your steering wheel. We only did full gauges over here. We got a P PTO switch here if you ever need it. Air suspension, fifth wheel. An inner axle diff lock. Spare switches here. Power windows, power locks, but a nice big train horn underneath. We'll plumbed it to the pull cord. So we, we plumbed it all from the factory, then we just put it on underneath when it gets here. Factory CB. There's those sit solos. Nice and polished. Does give you a lot more room. We did the fold away arms. So you lift them up, they rotate over. And then they fold down. So we're going to put them away, lift them up, fold them back. Gives you a lot more room between the seats. Looking out the back window there. Little cubby there. Cubby with power outlets there. Throw a TV or microwave in there. Um, at the business center here. Gets a little tight when the passenger seats all the way back this door doesn't want to open up fully so you got to pull that seat forward just a little not a big deal closet over here and then here's uh, got your s bar heater right here your bunk heater and when a truck's running you can heat or cool it with this and an alarm clock so I just started running by you um, one thing I will say about these is they have the dual revolution lights. It's too bright out now to really see it, um, but they do have the dual revolution lights. Um, what that is, is all your lights are your amber and your red um, around the outside. Let's see if I can show you. It's so all your lights like these behind here. They're red since they're firing backwards. Ones in front will be amber, while your side markers will be amber. There's one switch in the dash, but he hits that switch, and the top lights, cab lights, all the lights on the truck, including the back, uh, back of sleeper lights, including the trailer lights, they all flip to purple. Now that's not legal on road, but the minute you get off into a parking lot or or off on a gravel road, you know, things like that. Anytime you're really not hauling, you're sitting, stuff like that, you can flip it to that. And that's what they'll look like. They'll just be all purple. I saw them in the shop. I've got another video, a short video on them. But uh, just thought I would run those by everybody. Um, Plum Crazy Metallic and Diamond White flat tops. 
Uh, appreciate you guys watching. Close that down. Give you one more nice look at them. Beautiful trucks. So we can duplicate these. Uh, we can do different colors. I think a red and cream, blue and cream, black and cream, silver and cream, or silver and white. A bold white would look really good. So um, we can do the old school stuff. Stack tips are 48 inch on these. Um, beautiful, beautiful trucks. They drive like a Cadillac. Just gorgeous. Just float down the road. Well, give me a call, 970-691-3877, or you can email me at couchk, C-O-U-C-H-K, at rushenterprises.com. And again, I'm very humbled that 10,000 of you have subscribed. Please like and subscribe if you would. I would appreciate that. So thank you for watching. We will talk to you soon, and uh, stay safe. Take care.